Hello everybody, welcome back to the Brickmaster channel. Today we're taking a look at the Shang-Chi and the Great Protector poly bag. 55 pieces, this retails for $5. And the Marvel Legend of the Ten Rings movie has actually not been released yet, but we've got the Legos right here, so let's open this bad boy up and take a look. Take a look at the figure who I assume is Shang-Chi. He is looking quite nice there with that short black hair. He's got a nice golden stick rod item, which I enjoy. Good torso printing there. There's nice printing on the back as well and an alternate face as well. So pretty nice figure, but he does only have the black legs, which is somewhat disappointing. Here is the great protector. And I actually really liked this build. It was pretty enjoyable and obviously it didn't take too long because it's small, but it was more involving than most other polybag builds that I've done, at least recently. And I think it looks pretty cool, especially this little uh, face here. This translucent piece representing water is a nice inclusion, nice to get. There's a spot here for Shang-Chi to ride, so I guess he and the Great Protector might go across the water at some point in the movie. <laughs> My only disappointment in this set is that there's no ring. Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, I don't know how they're dispersed amongst the sets, but come on, I want at least one ring. Uh, I think it would have completed this, made it a really good buy, but as it stands, this is still a really good poly bag. For the price, $5, I think you get a worthwhile experience and a worthwhile little display here. I think this is uh, cool and I think the figure is not too bad. The price to part ratio looks okay at 55 pieces so I think if you like what you see here this is a solid buy. Thank you everybody for watching. Brickmaster signing out and I'll see you guys next time.